In Leopard, there's a new feature, or an updated feature, called Disk Utility. It's a really good program and a free program that comes right from your Mac. You don't need all this other fancy software that you have to pay a hundred bucks for, like, uh, like Toast Terminator, Liquid CD, all the other things that cost money for burning CDs. Now, little people know that Disk Utility is in your Mac and is living. Some people that know that disk utility is there don't know the power of disk utility. But I'm going to show you today how to take take advantage of powers in the first episode ever of Mac Tips 1000. Enjoy and put on your seat belts. Hey DJ, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is is go to your applications folder. You can do this by going to Finder, Applications, and find the Utilities folder. You'll have an icon folder, if you know what I mean. Here you are. It has a little bit of a toolbox icon on it. So click that. Sorry about that. Um, then you're going to want to go down and find this little thing. It'll look like this. There's disk utility. Um, so click it. And that will just be like this. And as you can see, it looks pretty plain, but it's kind of like Final Cut Express. The, it's not that complicated, though. So, the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is burn an ISO file. I have two ISO files right here, and I want to get rid of them. Just the shortcuts. So just highlight it, push the delete key. Okay. So we can partition our drive, but not even that. We're focusing on burning CDs and disk utility. So any old file, you can't drag any old file in. You're like, when you want to burn some pictures or something. So this is what you do. You take, um, you create a new folder. I'm just going to call this pics. OK, let me see. I'll drag a couple of these ones in here. And then we're going to right click, compress, and it will be a .zip folder. And then just press the end, pilot it and press the enter key. Then change the .zip file to a .iso file. And then just click use ISO and it turns it into an ISO file. And then you can just put that folder that you made to the trash. And then we got the pics.iso file. Now you can simply drag it into disk utility. It'll appear right there, and then you can burn it. Okay. So, you can verify disks. You can even create an ISO image. How you do that is, um, you put any disk in. Say I want to get this file of some friends gave me. I want to create an ISO file to put it on this website. So, all you do is put the disk in. You once the disk is in, you click on the... There's no CD in it right now. Is there? No, there's not. But when there's a CD in it, you just click on the disk. It would appear in Disk Utilities and click New Image. And then you can easily save it to your desktop or wherever you want to save it. You can convert images from ISO to .dmg to whatever you want. You can eject, mount. It's even for partitioning your drives. Let me show you a bit about partitioning. Here's one of my partitions, Macintosh HD, my main hard drive. And I have my 250 Western Digital hard drive. Um, so, we're going to go to partition. You can just um, add one and then just 
drag the sizes and stuff. The blue is the used base. But um, you can just highlight it over and it tells you the usage of it. It's pretty cool. Um, so that's about it. This has been the Power, a Power of Apple tutorial. Anyway, enjoy Mac Tips 1000. And if you have, if you're using Tiger, Tiger Tips are coming soon. This is for Leopard and Tiger. Thank you for watching.